What's up, New Jersey? I got to tell you, I love New Jersey, man. Everything about the investors out there in Jersey. You guys are my spirit animal. I don't know. Like, no, we're not scissoring. But you are my spirit animal, man. We are simpatico. I ain't from Jersey, but I work with a lot of Jersey investors, right? I get a lot of Jersey dudes and gals, even though you're gals. I'm, I'm not a gal, so we wouldn't scissor. But we're not going to get into this anymore. Enough of that. The moral of the story is I get a lot of people from Jersey that come to my market, the Cleveland, Ohio market, and they invest in real estate, right? Why? Because the taxation in Jersey, it's insanely expensive. Property prices are insanely expensive. It's, it's just really hard to get cash flow in Jersey these days, right? Northeast Ohio, one of the best cash flow markets in the USA, right? If you're Googling, like, where are the best cash flow markets, the Cleveland market always pops up, right? So a ton of Jersey investors work with me, right? You guys love what we do. We love you. It's awesome. Simpatico. Now, one of my clients is interested in buying this six-unit apartment building. But unlike a tr traditional turnkey provider, my job ain't to just sell you whatever I can sell you. No, 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 no. My job is to sell you properties that will make you money. Sell you properties at the prices that will make you money. And make sure you don't overpay or do a bad deal. So my client, before he spends $600,000 on this apartment building, he wants to know. He's like, Jay Wise, you're the local. You got the Cleveland knowledge. Let me know. Is this a good deal? So if you want to find out if this deal is good or a dud, let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. Today's show is from a man, Dan. Dan the man, Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan the man from New Jersey. Like I said, I love Jersey cats, right? And Dan, you're looking at this building. $600,000. It's a six-unit building, and it's an incredibly, incredibly nice part of the Cleveland market, okay? Lakewood, Ohio. The address, 11806 Clifton Boulevard, Lakewood, 44107. 600 grand, six units, $100,000 a unit. Now, as far as location, Dan, you don't get better than this, honestly. This is an amazing part of Lakewood, right? That's Lake Erie, okay? Lake Erie, you're right here. Very nice high-end area. If you buy this apartment building, you will get tenants constantly wanting to live there, right? People are always worried about vacancy rates or this or that. If you got a renovated market rent apartment in lakewood dude your vacancy the day you put it out there it's like yo this is ready for rent you're going to get like 10 qualified applicants finding qualified applicants is not an issue in lakewood the neighborhood is incredibly nice but this property at 600k dude there's not going to be a penny to be made here unfortunately there is no no way you could pay this there's no way you would uh make any money it doesn't matter how nice it is it's it's just not going to make money at that price point it's not going to support itself here's what we got we have six tenants in there paying essentially like nothing right the current rents in the six unit are uh a total of 4370 for the month 680 750 690 750 750 750 right you can't pay you cannot pay six hundred thousand dollars for a rent roll of four thousand three hundred seventy now, if you look at this, you might be like, okay, well, aren't those way under market? Can I get them above market? And we'll start making the cash flow. Yes and no. Yes, they are uh, definitely under market. But if you look at all these photos, bro, like look at this kitchen. We can go up quite a bit. But, like, you see that? We're not going to go up with a kitchen that looks like that. Uh, the market rents on this thing, we can get we can get the rent up another, like, one and a half, right? We can get it up to about 950 a unit, so 5700 but you would have to remove all your tenants and do a complete renovation in each one of the units to do that, right? So you'd be looking at, I don't know, let's just call it like twenty to $25,000 on every unit, right? So you got a 600K purchase price and then like 25000 times six, it's 150. So you'd be at seven hundred fifty grand for $5,700 in rent. That's just not going to pencil out. There ain't no scenario where that's going to make you any money, right? So as nice as the neighborhood is, uh, 
you know, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for fifty seven hundred dollars in rent, that that won't make any sense. Plus, the tax rate in Lakewood is is over three uh, percent, right? So seven hundred fifty thousand times your tax rate. I mean, dude, this thing is cash flow negative all day. You got the seller. Uh, just looking for a sucker, right? They're just looking for some fool who's either at the end of a 1031 exchange and they have like four days to identify a property or somebody who just doesn't understand uh, the market, what market rents are, and they see a really nice building in a really nice neighborhood and they just overpay drastically, right? Uh, fortunately for you, Dan, that ain't you because you're smart. You're like, hey, I'm from Jersey. I'm from Cleveland. I'm not going to be the dummy looking at it without a state eyes overpaying because in Jersey this would be expensive. I'm going to make sure I get on-the-ground expertise from my boy Jay Wise. Another little thing for you is they just bought this thing four years ago, and it does not look like they've done any repairs to it whatsoever, right? As you can see, the kitchens and everything, totally dated. They bought this thing in 2018 for 344 k You buy it for 344 you're making good money, right? So that's another reason why it, 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 there's no deal to be had, right? Some people might think like, okay, well, whatever. They got it listed at six. That's like ridiculously overpriced by probably about two hundred thousand dollars. Maybe I'll just shoot them a lowball offer and they'll sell it, and I'll just give them my numbers and explain to them it's cash flow negative if I pay six hundred. So then they'll come down to four, and I'll get a good deal. Don't work that way. They don't give a fuck if you make money, guys. They want to make money. Now, lowball offers can and do work sometimes, but when you do them. It works the best when you're going after a seller who's in a distressed situation, whose property is weighing on them, whose property is a hassle, whose property is hurting their financial life, hurting their psyche, a lot to deal with. Not the case here. This person is making great money. They bought it at a great price. They bought it at 344 They're making money. The thing is cash flowing uh, for them probably reasonably well. I, I don't think they have a mortgage on it, right? So they're doing okay, and they just slap it on the market like, hey, if some crazy bastard wants to come in and give me six, I'll cash out. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep keep it rolling, keep owning it. There's no problem here. It's Lakewood. It's nice. I'm sure all their tenants are super low-key, easygoing. But, uh, you know, when the numbers don't work, the numbers don't work, man. Can't put a square peg in a round hole. This one is a dud. Move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.